Panic at the Disco is set to release their new album, Vices and Virtues, next month. And their new single, The Ballad of Mona Lisa, is officially released to radio the week of February 14th. With the departure of Ryan Ross and John Walker, the songwriting fell on frontman Brendan Urey. He was man enough to admit that he needed some more writing chops, and he teamed with none other than Weezer frontman and songwriter Rivers Cuomo. We asked Brendan about the experience of working with Rivers. We met him for like an afternoon. We went over, um, they had set up a, a writing session, which was totally foreign to us. We had never done anything like that. It was, it, we were, you know, I was kind of skeptical, a little apprehensive to get into that scenario with, with someone we never met, you know, someone that we looked up to though. Um, we're familiar with their songwriting abilities and it, it, honestly, it was really nice. <laughs> it was actually kind of fun because we showed up and he was the sweetest guy in the world, really low talker and come on in guys, let's, you know, let's, let's have fun. And so it was, yeah, it was just, it, it was uh, better than I expected. And so I think that that, you know, killed some of the apprehension as to writing with other people or sharing ideas with people you haven't before. Um, but it also gave us the confidence to realize we can do this, we can write this on our own. You know, he just showed us, you know, it was just fun writing with somebody that we never had before. We also asked him if it was a true creative process or a mentoring session, and we asked if any songs came out of the session. Well, we did. We wrote a song with him. Um, uh, the tentative title was Freckles, but it, you know, it, <laughs> I don't know uh, what will happen with it. It's still sitting with uh, some of our other songs that aren't on the record, so yeah, we, we'll maybe see what happens. Side. Yeah, maybe yeah. it'd be said. At this point, like Yuri said, there's no definitive plans to release Freckles, but both Weezer and Panic at the Disco fans should keep their eye out for B-sides. Vices and Virtues hits stores March 29th.